we're going to cover the seated application of the balance harness. So we're just going to go ahead and place this on like a vest here. Have the patient lean forward as far as they can. And then go ahead and you want to tuck that as far down on, on their bottom as you can in this position here. Go ahead and lean back. If you need to, you can loosen the shoulder straps by just lifting up on the orange webbing and then tightening by pulling down on the black webbing if you need to be able to push that farther back down. Sometimes you need to lengthen those up a little bit. Um, so we want to take the, the waist piece here and get, again, get it as low as you can, kind of covering the, right across the uh, iliac crest here and under the angle of the ribs. I'm going to go ahead and clip our front buckles in place here. So this is the top one here, get that clipped in place. And then our bottom buckle here on the opposite side. And then we wanna get these as tight as we can. And the way to do that is really to take, kind of hold onto the webbing here and feed it in as you pull across. And you wanna pull directly across is how you're gonna get your best angle of pull there. Now they've got that nice and secure. You want to make that as tight as you can, comfortably in the sitting, because as they stand up, it's going to loosen up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take up the slack in the shoulder, shoulder um, straps here, and just so those don't fall off the shoulders. And now we're going to apply our lower piece. So we're going to take our lower gluteal fold strap here that's got some rubberized um, surface here that's going to go just underneath their gluteal fold. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it underneath the legs here. And then we're going to go ahead and slide this and work our way up underneath the person's hips as far as you can. If you need to, sometimes you can have them lean to the side a little bit. So you really want to tuck that up as far as you can comfortably underneath their hips, okay? So now that we've got that tucked underneath the hips, and we can make sure it's centered by kind of checking the position of these two D-rings that are on each side. Looks like we've got that nice and centered. We're gonna take our webbing here. It has the buckle off the end. We're gonna take that and bring it through this little blue webbing loop here. So we're gonna bring that through there, and we're gonna bring it all the way across and bring it back and attach it to a buckle that's back on the back side of the harness here that's kind of angled. You clip it into place. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. So we're going to put it through the blue loop here of webbing. And then it's going to come all the way back to the buckle that's back, just back behind the center of the patient here. Clip it into place. And we're going to really snug that up. And again, by pulling directly back along the line of the webbing while feeding a little bit in, we can really get a good secure fit. If we want to, we can take a little more slack at the um, waist. And now we've got it in position to uh, bring to a standing position by attaching to our overhead support system um, once we're in a standing position.